What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 3 of Ultimate FIFA. Today is a gameplay episode guys and we've got uh, the squad that I built in a squad builder last time around. So we've got this 5 star skill squad, this has got 7 5 star skillers in it. And uh, can't wait to play with this squad. The only negative points about playing with it right now, of course, which I can imagine are going to get put in the comment section a lot, is that I'm going to be coming up against terrible teams because I'm in Division 5. So I'm not going to sell on this team. I'm actually going to play with a few teams up until I get to Division 1 and then come back and revisit this team and use this team in Division 1. Now, I have a question for you guys, as always, question of the day. And the question for today is, if you could make a new Super League, what teams in would you have in it? How many teams would you have... And why, I guess? I mean, for me, you know, there's been talk of a Super League many times before, you know, breakaway league from the Premiership and stuff like that. And you'd have, like, the, the best two teams maybe from every league um, and just put them in a, a worldwide league or something like that um, and, and have them no longer playing domestic football. Um, I don't know whether that would work. I don't know how the logistics of that would work. I've not really put too much thought into it. I just thought I'd ask you guys the question as to where, who you would put in, like, a Super League like that. What sort of... Let's say we'll go for 10 teams. What 10 teams would you put into a Super League? So the first game here, guys, as you can see, we come up against a guy called FC Schenkenberg. Um, and we're in Division 5, so I generally don't anticipate many tough games. And um, this guy here has got 85 chemistry and a pretty average team. I mean, he has got a few gold players. He's got, what, five gold players there, four silver players, and only the two bronze players. But still, my team is far, far superior to his. Um, it was definitely one of those definitely one of those games where I knew it was going to be an easy win. Um, I was hoping that I'd score some pretty nice goals. The whole point of building this team was to score some pretty nice six skill goals, and that's exactly what we are looking to do. Um, this this first game, th this whole division is going to be relatively easy because people just don't want to play. You know, like this guy here went one nil down, for no thanks, gonna rage quit, had enough, absolutely had enough. Um, but whilst you watch the gameplay on the screen, guys, I want to talk a little bit about the PlayStation 4 and uh, how excited I am for it. Like it, it's crazy how quick it's going to be coming around. Um, it's going to be towards the back end of this year. It says on the the. Um, what is it that I watched? I watched, like everybody watched it. There was like 100,000 people in there. Just like a presentation of the PlayStation 4, the new software, some some games, the control pad. And um, I'm not a huge fan of the control pad, but the interface on the PlayStation looks crazy good on the PS4. Uh, it looks like it's taken a lot of the good points from um, the Xbox interface that it has now and incorporated them in. Um, and uh, it, it said it's going to be released... Uh, the the 2013 holidays which i don't know when that is exactly but to me that'll probably be the last quarter of the year so sort of like november december time maybe you know october november december and uh, i'm really excited for it i'm i'm really excited actually to the fact as well that you can stream direct on ustream with the playstation 4 uh, i think that's going to open the doors to a lot of new people in this community um, a lot of people that don't necessarily have the opportunity to buy um you know, by by the software and hardware that they need to live stream, um, maybe don't have the nous to live stream because of the software, uh, as especially. And um, I think it will just open doors to a lot of new streamers, and I, for one, will be excited about that. Uh, one of the other features that I really loved um, on the PlayStation 4 was the the kind of interactive play that you can have as a scorer, a belter with Jadson there. Um, it's, it's one of those things where like they, they explained in the demonstration that if you're stuck at a certain point in a game or something you can invite your friend who's on another PlayStation 4 to actually just come and hop on your game for you and play your game for you in front of your very eyes and that's something that sounds ridiculously clever and could is just like a, a gateway to a hell of a lot more things um, in gaming, in console gaming. So I'm really, really looking forward to the game. And um, just at the end of the game here, after scoring that fantastic goal with Jadson, I tried to do a Rabona chip to like some kind of volley or overhead kick with Jadson there, but uh, it completely missed Neymar. It gets whipped back in from Mycon, and Jadson is there to complete the complete the the move and win two nil. A game I really should have won by a considerable amount more goals. But this guy was actually really, really good at FIFA. He may have had a terrible team and really bad chemistry. But um, he knew how to defend really well, and when he did have the ball, though he's got bronze players, he, he kept the ball pretty decent. And uh, yeah, it was certainly an interesting match, that one. Um, I thought I would walk the game a little bit more than that, a little bit easier. But we're coming to the third and final game of the day. 
And uh, we come up against Bartek, and Bartek has got a 50 chem random team as well. Four gold players there. He's got a striker in the centre forward position who's gold. Probably would have been better off putting him as a striker, but never mind. Um, a centre midfielder there and a goalkeeper too. It looks like he does understand how the chemistry system works because he's got all the right players in the right positions. And uh, this this was one of those games that just... Yeah, you, you see. You see, look at that. 35 minutes in. I, I was pounding on him, absolutely pounding on him, just shot after shot. I think if it shows you the match details there, there you go, 10 shots, 6 on target, 36 minutes in, couldn't score, but he just decided he didn't He didn't want to play. He did not want to play against me. Um, so that game just gets struck, stricken from the record books. That doesn't even count as a game, but it still makes me lose contracts and fitness, which is quite annoying. Um, and we come up against FC Manu in the next round. He's got a full gold team, but awful chemistry. 43 chemistry points. Absolutely awful chemistry. And um, Nepo was turning on the skills in this game. Mike Onliete there with a little duke. Nice little... Uh, Nice little skill run and a fantastic left foot finish into the bottom corner. And I tell you what, even though it was against really bad players, it felt good to be skilling again. I'm not going to lie. It felt like the old FIFA 11 days where every player that you came up against was pretty much a bad player. Like you'd be very, very unlucky to come up against a really good player. Do some more great work here with Neymar and uh, tried to chip the keeper with a Rabona chip, but it ended up going to Mike Onliete there, who was in acres of space just by the edge of the goal and slots it home nicely for an easy 2 0 victory. We get Wallison again here. Like I said, I, I was trying, especially when, when I go 2 0 up or when I went 1 0 up, you know, I was trying to, trying to do the skills easily. And Neymar there again with a fantastic goal. It really shouldn't have gone in. A gold goalkeeper with good chemistry would have saved that but this guy has got his derp gloves on and unfortunately couldn't save it and that gave us a 3-0 lead and then Wallison here with probably the goal of the episode a nice uh, sombrero flick a ball roll past the next defender the drag back and then a, uh, a nice shimmy shimmy past the defender takes on both defenders there a roulette past that defender and a ball roll past the last defender before slotting it home into the far corner a very very tidy goal indeed maybe not the goal of the episode maybe Jadson's long shot was pretty decent but Jadson's long shot was against a bronze goalkeeper so kind of loses a little bit of its credibility Neymar here again down the left hand side no need to do skill moves when there's no one around you to do skill moves by so as soon as the keeper comes out Neymar does that chips the ball into the back of the net for absolutely no reason but we do earn the trophy cheeky because he, he chipped the ball into the back of the net uh, the man does manage to score a goal here I say the man I actually score it for him Dede there trying to uh, sorry Felipe Santana trying to clear the ball Hits into Dede, the centre-back. Dede, the centre-back, picking up a goal for the club, although in the wrong net. Um, Ronaldinho here doing some work. I love that um, Neymar ball roll chop thing. It's always nice. Michael Liete with a whacker whacker, a Ronaldo chop, and then a finish to the top left-hand corner and another nice goal. And this guy was just a sucker for punishment. 6-1 was the full-time score, guys. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to leave a like. I've got a lot to come in this series. Um, hopefully, you guys do enjoy the format that I'm putting it in. Um, I hope this is going to be much more entertaining to watch. And, of course, uh, the main aim of this series is to try and get as many match coins as possible. Um, so, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Cheers.